My name is Craig Marshall and I'm a biochemist and I teach at the University of Otago. I always wanted to be a scientist and I don't ever remember not wanting to be a scientist. And I've seen lots of, of people come and go through the university system. I've been teaching for a long time. And it's rare, I've discovered how rare it is for someone to have a single-minded idea about what they're going to do and for it to actually work out. But it did, I, it worked out. I became a scientist because I was always interested in how things worked, how they went together. And um, I discovered that I wasn't mathematically able, so I became a biochemist instead or a biologist instead. I joined the TEU when I got a real job, which was in 1994, and I remember that. I started on the 1st of April, which I thought was significant, and I joined the union because I thought that was something that you should do. I've always thought that collectively you could achieve more than you could if you were working individually. I mean, you clearly you have your own individual contributions, but working with people is more effective than, than working on your own. But also there's a sense in which this provided some protection in case there were issues that are where I needed help. So I could see places where I might be able to help other people, but there would be times when I might need help and I thought this was the most effective way of getting there. I think the most prob biggest problem with, the t with tertiary education generally, especially the education part, is the resourcing. Uh, we don't have enough resources and that's primarily money. Uh, and We've seen a significant decline in the sort of per capita funding in the sector. Um, it's not seen as being essential, and so it's one of those things that's recognised as a problem, but we'll sort that out some other time. I've been in the system a long time and it's changed a lot. We have a lot more students now than we used to. At one time people came to us because they really wanted to go to university more or less. Now we have a significant group of people who come to university because that's the next stage of their journey. They're not necessarily that committed to what they're doing, but they're going to get something in the three or four years they're there. The, the challenges that I see are the proper resourcing of it. And I think the biggest thing for me is the resourcing for for science, since I'm a scientist, is, is that research component is consistently difficult because we don't have the resources. Um, and certainly in the last few years, there's been a big shift towards um, you have to show that what you're going to do is going to be useful. And of course, you don't know, because that's the point of it. We don't know what the answer to this question is, and we're not sure whether it will be useful or not until we've done the work. I do worry about the postdocs and the, and the, the the, especially the staff who are on these sort of short-term contracts and they get three months work or five months work and it's not so much the amount they're paid, it's the, it's the, the, the impermanence of their work, their precarious employment I suppose. I don't think we earn as much as we used to comparatively, but I'm not sure that all of the people who work at the universities that I know about get paid what they ought to be. We've gone from the expectation that you will be at work and that's what you will do and that's where you do your work. We know that actually only about a third of the time is actually productive, maybe a half the time. Um, suddenly it was okay to work at home, and we could work at home, and we found ways of working at home. And, I, and I, partly it's I'm getting older, and I'm, I'm very clear that <laughs> I get paid nominally for 37 and a half hours a week. So why do I work 60? You know, what do I get out of that? Often people say to me when we're not in session, ah, you're on holiday. And I think if only that were true. So our teaching year is a 26 weeks or something like that. But the rest of the time we're working because we develop curricula, we, we, we do our research, we write papers, we do all of those other things.